Hello, welcome to June 8th, 2023. My name is Kurt, and this is my good life meditation. I uh, do this exercise and usually make this video a little bit after waking up every morning. It's now uh, 4.38 a.m. I do this to uh, remember my life objectives and principles, as outlined in my book, Going Alone. I also use this time to think about the last 24 hours, including last night, to see how I did with any challenges or opportunities that I met. And I finish up by uh, planning for the coming day and readying myself for any challenges or opportunities that I can foresee on the horizon and also preparing myself for anything that might uh, come all of a sudden upon me that I didn't anticipate. Preparing my, uh, my ambush reaction, so to speak. First, last night and yesterday. Slept pretty good last night. I did wake up midnight, in, in the middle of the night, once that I remember, but uh, not before the alarm. Like, man, those, I'm glad those days are done. Ever since I decided to retire, just, I've, it wasn't since I announced it really, um, that kind of just faded away. That waking up uh, before the alarm. That's amazing. Amazing. And I was trying to treat that with more of a medical approach when it was really a, uh, what's the right word, lifestyle? Hmm. A philosophic approach? I don't know. It was really just a, a decision to uh, excise from my life or to remove myself from, not excise from my life anything particular, but remove myself from a particular circumstance. This and I'm not trying to use fancy words, but these are the words that are coming to mind. <clears throat> this milu, I think milu, melee, it almost feels like that I'm in right now, this life that I live. That's, yeah, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, life. I, I know it's absolutely necessary, you know, especially for those that are going to be, raise a family, we have to get by. But good Lord. What, an, what, what a thing it is, this life. Yeah. I almost wish that Yumiko and I had gone through with buying that house, the one we called Hirayama. Hirayama, just because of the... And I, I know it was the right decision not to buy it, but just for the extra padding of knowing that there's a safe somewhere for us to get to. Excuse me. I've been having thoughts lately about the importance of keeping the schedule, getting the hell out of here. You know, I keep thinking if I just work a little bit longer, that'll Im improve our improve our retirement circumstance and also give us more money to uh, to you know, to to work on the house, etc. Yeah, but. That would mean I have to stay in this situation. No, thank you. Let's do the good life. I'm going to read the book again. It 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 makes me down just to imagine that, just to imagine staying in this this way of life another any longer. And I absolutely have to. It really, it really is. A pretty, a pretty terrible way to live. The way that the way that we live in this modern world. Hmm. And maybe it's just the way I live. And then all the people who choose to live the same way, nearly all of them seem crushed and despairing. You know. Seven objectives. To, one, to be always ready to die. Two, to make good and effective use of time and resources. Three, to develop and maintain good and sound life principles. Four, to cultivate good emotional reactions. Five, to perform good actions. Six, to recognize true limits and true opportunity. And seven, to do just one thing at a time and do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. My 34 principles are war, reason, 
Homunculus, Anchor Hold, The Home of Good and Evil, The Principle of Purpose, The Atomic Principle, The Principle of Nature, The Pirate Ride, The Principle of Maturity, The Social Principle, The Principle of Family, Public Speaking, Temperance, Life Will Not Go Well, The Horror Show, That Which Must Be Born, the Feast of Ophel, the principle of distraction, agency and the great indifference, the best seat in the house, the restless man, the path of wildness, the great life adventure, the risk of avoiding risk, sin and damnation, complete oblivion, the season of philosophy, script writing, the bull's eye aim, the uphill climb, arena and utility. Nothing is enough in the principle of fun. I feel like I'm cheating when I do it this way. Probably be better if I just try to do it from memory. I should revert back to that and only use this this method when I when I absolutely need to. And I do feel it a little yesterday. Just talking about this life is just 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 in the last you know five minutes it's just sucked the the suck the joy out of me. You know, it's a, it's a Thursday morning that, that I'm waking up and I just, it's not necessarily that I'm, I mean, it's Thursday, so you don't, I don't I'm, not, I'm not bubbling with happiness. It's a Thursday work day, but I wasn't feeling bad. But just talking about this way of life made me feel bad again. I just don't like it. I don't like the way we live. I know that we have to, especially if we're going to have children, we have to work hard. Someone's, We've got to work together. We've got to keep this society going. But so much of it seems just driven for this, this, this rampant consumerism, this burning, burning of energies of keeping the machine going. I know it's these are tropes. These are old ideas that uh, people rail against since uh, since humanity took this course. Anyway, as for today finish this, upload this, type up my words, do all my morning routines, do my day, have my wonderful and delicious walks with my wife, sit in the evening with a little red wine playing the guitar at sundown, and then have a delicious dinner with my wife and go to bed. That's what I'll do today. I've got some challenges today. I can do them. I feel, I feel up to the task, even the ambush things. Let's call it quits for now and stop thinking about this, this nasty way of life. Take care. Be safe, but not too safe. And with that, my life is done, if not finished. Yeah.